Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Now today, something a little different. Customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the custom-made, hand-built Federico Tox Watches watch. Now there's only one made, and this one's not for sale, it's for me. But I built it myself, and that's actually something I wanted to talk about today. And that is the fact that my good buddy Rick has come out with a really cool project. A project where you can build and customize your own watch. And you have the choice of assembling it yourself or having it pre-assembled. So, you know, it's called Build Your Own Watch, but I quite literally built my own watch. And it's something really interesting and a little tougher than it looks, but a ton of fun at the same time. So my buddy Rick contacted me and he said, you know what, Federico, I love watches. You know, I, I love watching YouTube. I love watches. I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of timezone.com. But you know what? There's so many micro brands out there and you can customize your own watch to a certain extent. And that's pretty cool because we never used to have these options back in the day. But how come they don't allow people to build a watch themselves? And he has a little bit of an engineering background, so he's a technical guy. And he developed this watch kit where you get all the parts and you can assemble the watch by yourself. And you know what? I've been a little bit trained in watchmaking. I've done a lot of brand trainings. And it is a little tougher than it looks, but it really builds your connection with the hobby of horology. You get to really understand what goes into building a watch. And even though this is not the most expensive watch in my collection, it's something that I have a real connection to because I put it together myself. So Rick came out with this project. It's called Build Your Own Watch. And essentially what it is, is a bunch of different parts and combinations. Now, the one thing that's constant is the case, at least for now. It's a 42 millimeter case that's high polished with satin polishing on the side. It's really, really well made actually. And it's machined out of one piece of metal. And it's got a sapphire crystal. You can also choose your dial options. There's three different dial colors, three different hand styles, and there's four different second hands. So you can choose between Dauphin hands, leaf hands, loomed hands, and you know, you can pick a blue dial, a white dial, or a black dial. You know, mine here is the white dial. And you essentially, you customize your own watch. And then on top of that, you can also have the dial printed with your logo. Now this part you don't do yourself. Uh, you know, when Rick sent me a kit, I was thinking I was just gonna kind of do it for fun and see what it was all about, but he was nice enough to print my channel logo on the dial of the watch. And that's a really nice, uh, you know, little touch. And you can put whatever you want on there. It's powered by Miyota 8215, which is a pretty standard movement, you know, not particularly expensive, definitely not very well decorated, even though we'll get to that in a second. 40 hour power reserve, non-hacking, but manual winding reliable Japanese made movement you can find in uh, you know certain citizen models and other micro brands and all the watches also come on Hirsch American made premium quality straps you have six different choices and these are made in the United States so definitely a fantastic uh, quality strap as well now here's the thing you get the kit and the movement is built but you have to put the dial on yourself, insert the hands, case the movement, and attach the strap yourself. And that might not sound too hard, and it isn't super difficult. Rick's made some great videos uh, walking you through how to assemble it, but it definitely takes a little bit of finesse, and it's a ton of fun. I mean, you learn more in these, you know, two to three hours of constructing your own watch than you would ever just from reading forums. So he put together this idea and he said, Federico, what do you think? I said, well, Rick, send me, send me one of the kits and let me see. You know what? It's a ton of fun. And I think a lot of you guys would definitely like to take a look at the project and would appreciate uh, what you get out of essentially constructing your own watch. Now, of course, you can customize your own watch and they can assemble it for you as well. So you can get it fully assembled if you just want a customizable watch. But the beauty of this, I think, is the fun of putting it together yourself.
Now, another thing Rick has done, uh, as I said, the Miyota is not the most attractive movement, is he found an artisan with a rose engine lathe. Now, a rose engine lathe is a very old machine used to decorate some of the first watches that ever came out. Not even normal watches, but pocket watches. And there's only a handful of rose engine lathes left in the United States. And he found an artisan to engrave all the rotors. Now, mine has a special engraving. It's custom to my watch. But you do have two different choices of rotor engravings that are 100% engraved by hand and can take up to, you know, an hour and a half to make, which is pretty special. I mean, even in some of the highest end watches out there, you know, the rotors are machine engraved. I mean, a fully hand engraved rotor, that's usually $10,000 plus territory. So that's a nice little touch as well. So, you know, of course it costs a little bit extra, but you have the option of getting this beautifully rose engine lathe hand engraved rotor. So very much like some of the other do-it-yourself watches, the big thing here is A, you can print and engrave the buckles and dials with custom logos, and you have the option of putting it together yourself with a great instruction manual by Rick, either by video or uh, through paper, which makes it a really great experience, not to mention the prices. The prices are quite low. Now, Rick just launched this on Kickstarter. And of course, link in the description below. You can get the Series 1 kit for as low as $149. That's a steal for any automatic watch, let alone one made with this great case, sapphire crystal, you know, and the choice to put it together yourself and all the little extra goodies like the video instructions. And the options go up as high as I believe 349. So this definitely doesn't break the bank. And I think it's a great experience for many watch enthusiasts to put together their own piece and see what kind of level of dedication it takes to come out with some of these uber luxury watches. Now this is not an uber luxury watch, but it gives you a glimpse into the process of making your own watch. And on top of that, I have to say the quality is very, very high. I don't really have any gripes. For the price, it's what I expect. And a few extras, sapphire crystal, a very well-made case, uh, the dials are beautiful, the hands are very well machined. I guess my one little gripe, which Rick said, um, you know, he might look into, is I think the crown tube isn't the strongest. Now, it is a screw-down crown, so you get 100 meters water resistant, but I find the crown tube to, uh, I mean, at this price point, it's fine, but I find the crown tube to be the Achilles heel of this watch project. But anyway, guys, the project is called Build Your Own Watch, and it's on Kickstarter. Take a look at the link below. Now, I don't get a cut of any of the proceeds or anything. Rick is my friend. I wanted to give him a solid, and I wanted to advertise this on the channel. But I think all you guys should take a look at it. At the very least, check out the Kickstarter and watch the video. It's a very, very fun project. Thank you so much for sticking around for another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and like it to support my buddy Rick. And let's hope this project gets funded. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or ask Rick himself on the Kickstarter page. Also, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content. That way you won't miss any more. Oh, and guys, don't forget to check out my Instagram account. That's at Federico Talks Watches. Link in the description below as well. I'm going to come out with something special in the next few days, and I don't think you guys would want to miss it. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for sticking around for another episode of Federico Talks Watches, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.